Yeah, Tomba, uh, probably the best platform to play Tomba on is on PSP or PS3. Because <laughs> um, I know for speedruns, the speedrunners play it on um, uh, either a modified PSP or on a uh, Vita TV, is I think what the, the Tomba speedrun community does. This seems super loud. All right. <clears throat> So I'm playing this is off of the uh, PS2 today, just because Tomba is going to have to be on PS2. So if things look slightly different, that's why. Yep, that Vita TV. Um, the the whole reason they actually do runs, the Tomba community does runs on PSP and Vita TV is because it's faster on those, which, fair enough. Fair enough. I don't blame them for playing on a faster platform. The, the only kind of weird thing is that they have to modify their PSP to be able to do do certain stuff. And that's what, that's where I think it gets a little sketchy, but eh. I don't run the game, so I can't complain. Yeah, I plays off a disc. Off uh, of the CD, so if the load times are real horrible, then, then we see how horrible they are. I don't emulate anything. Like, emulation is the absolute, absolute farthest last option. <laughs> like, I will only... Uh, yo. Alright, so here's here's how close we are to the end, by the way. But there's Ayami, but... Evidently, Ayami's missions are just the same. They're the same missions, except they are very slightly different, from what I gather. So, we're going to do the rookie memory sections. Oh yeah, yeah, it's it's quite the killer deal. Wink, wink. It's quite the killer deal. Alright. The help of the ninja dog. Oh shit! Ninja dog. Alright. Not all of them. Not all of them. A lot of them I have. Because back in like... Uh, uh, first half of the 2000s, you could get PS1 games, however rare they are, for like a dollar. So, I do have a lot of them. Rikimaru, you must recover the sword, Izayoi. The fate of the Azuma clan is now in your hands. Yes, Master. Wait. When you face Tatsumaru, you must not be ruled by vengeance or anger. Jets. You must be in a state of selflessness, or you will fail again. Uta, uta. Yo, thank you, host boys. I, <coughs> I only prepared you for physical combat. You have not yet mastered warfare of the spirit. Forgive me. Actually, the way I keep most of my game collections, I have these big-ass binders, CD binders, that hold like 500 discs. Um, and I just keep them there, because I don't really care about cases, I don't care about manuals, I don't care about cover art, I just like to play games. I must <laughs> return to the castle. The Burning Dawn will attack again. But they won't catch me unprepared this time. Yep. He's prepared, as he leaves without a weapon. His only weapon is the horse. All right. So the uh, the where we last left off in the thrilling Tenchu Two story is that uh, the village is under attack by evil evil dudes, and most of the village got killed. And we need to go get vengeance. Semimaru, I'm so glad you're okay. Good dog. Okay, boy. Find Tatsumaru. Find Tatsumaru. All right, good job, dog. Well, some PlayStation manuals were good. Like, uh, uh, I think I showed before the comparison between the Japanese Saturn manual that I have for. Tatsumaru killed Master Shiunsai. Just keep going. Avenge his death. I won't let you kill Tatsumaru. 
Ayame, I must. He killed the master. No, I will kill Tatsumaru myself. What? But... Oh, I see. You're not seeking vengeance. You act from a state of pure selflessness. Come on, Semimaru. Take us to Tatsumaru. Yeah, the uh, the Japanese manual for um, uh, Dark Savior is like full color, has like forty pages, and is has like a bunch of dank art in it. The U.S. manual looks like it was put on like photocopier paper, and is about the third the length and doesn't have any art in it at all. <laughs> all right, go slowly, follow the trail, prepare yourself for what away. Okay, end of the trail, follow dog. Got it. Okay. So as always, if you if you haven't seen a Tenchu thing before, um, you can equip items on yourself before each mission. Um, if you use an item or you die without using them, they're gone forever. You cannot get the item back that you use. So. So what I do, at least on the the first time through level, is I don't give myself anything. And then just see what the level's about. And then go from there. Alright, where's my dog? Okay, so usually the strat for each level is... Hey, just run past everything. Like that. Because I'm a ninja. I also don't know where the dog went, but... Whatever. So this, uh, the controls for Tenchu are like semi-tank controls. Um, I wouldn't say it controls well by any, any means. Um, and, uh, the combat is like, you're, once you swing your sword, you're committed to that swing. So it's like, uh, like Dark Souls style combat. There we go. Alright. We made it to the boss. <laughs> Your senses are sharp. Oh shit. I am beyond the white tiger. One of the four lords of the burning dawn. What's that? I agree. Rejoice, woman. He has taken a liking to me. You will have the honor of being eaten by Chiru the Magnificent. As for you, unsavory man, you will have to settle for being killed by me. Alright. This, uh, that guy's voice also sounds familiar. They just got every single notable voice actor in the early 2000s for this game. Oh, shit. So he's got a full hit combo. Oh god, turn around! <laughs> Alright. Gave me the business there. Okay. I didn't even see the tiger. This is what happens when the mouse challenges the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Ah. <sighs> Well, that went that went about as well as all the other boss fights have gone on the first attempt. Like, hey, I get I get the boss down to half health, and then he just gives me the business in a full combo, and then suddenly dead. Um, I could probably still do this without uh, without healing though. If at all possible, I want to save my heals until like the last level because if it, this is anything like uh, uh, Tenchi One, the last level is going to be complete horseshit. Like the biggest horse shit. A three flush horse shit. Oh, oh. Okay, it was like this way. Must 
be around here somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. All right, the boss is like through here. So I want to start the boss fight with my sword out. So I got to remember to just get my sword out before, or like at the start of every level. All right, this time. Usually there's a pretty good tell for like, hey, the boss is coming up and I can just get my sword out in advance. But this one, oh God. It was kind of like suddenly boss. Also the camera is not great in this game. No! What? Stop it! Alright. Yo! <laughs> Alright, we did it. Now do I have to fight Tiger? I assume Ayane was fighting the Tiger. Make Chiru pick your bones clean. I guess you weren't so ferocious after all. May Chiro pick your bones clean. Alright. So for the most part, the strat of, hey, just run through the level, not attacking anything, and then go to the boss, pretty much works in this game. Which I guess I'm okay with that. Yeah, the camera in this game is by far and away the most formidable foe. <sighs> Alright, so this is the second to last level according to the level select. The last level in the first game was a two-parter. And you couldn't, like, heal or anything between the parts. So Tatsumaru's in this cave? Good boy. Now, Semimaru, you stay here. I'm going in. Alright, trail leads to the caverns. Caverns protected by booby traps. Find out what they're hiding. Okay. Alright. Booby traps a lot harder to just run past. Rather than enemies who just kind of stand there. Alright. Nope. Okay. Oh, that's a waterfall. Oh, shit. Alright, we're good. Ah, uh, Jet Force Gemini. I remember that game got so much hype in, in magazines back in the day, and I rented it and was just so disappointed by that one. Uh, okay. I think I'm stuck. Unless I can... Like, hop out of the water with you? There we go. Alright, don't knock me in the water. Oh, shit. Alright. That wasn't a... Trying to do the... Oh, no, oh, oh, oh. It won't let you do the quick turn if you're next to a wall. Because that would be crazy. Alright. Yeah, I put in Blasto as a safe meme pick for this one. Um, 
though I sh I don't need to do that for later pulls because uh, I actually fixed my pull generation code now. Uh, that's where I need to go. Yep, yeah, always vote for memes. It's like I actually have to be stealthy for this mission. It's no fun. Alright, usually if there's mounds like that, that's usually a trap. Um, I'm actually working on a googly eye emote. Whoop. Whoop. That is in the works. Oh, what the f God damn it. The smoke bombs are just bullshit. Alright, let's, uh... Let's use stealth. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, baby. This, uh, this level, I can tell. It'll be real fun. This level seems like a good time. Exploded bomb, looks like. Can I pick this up? Nope, it's. Maybe that bomb did explode, it just didn't do anything. does the fucking long jump not work anymore? And when it does work, he misses. Just... Uh. Yeah, kids these days spoiled with working controls and things like tutorials to teach them those controls. Alright. This way... This time. Where am I? Ah! All right. Progress. Okay. Yeah, remember when video games were fun? It jobs. <laughs> hey, letters. Okay. Alright. So if I had not fallen off that waterfall, I could have skipped this whole part. I won't get you! Ah! Just... This fucking jump. The uh, the tutorial at the start of the game says to do a long jump, it is um, forward, circle, and X. And half of the time when you do that, he just kind of does a, a shuffle forward like that. And sometimes he does the, the fucking jump that you want. Alright, here. Oh my god. Alright, come on. See? <laughs> it's like, it's circle and up, and then X. Oh. So if you, 
if you hit X immediately, like if you do that, he just shuffles. Oh god, damn it! All right, well, this is fine. Everything's fine. Nothing, nothing, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I actually I saw Big Trouble in Little China very recently because it's on uh, it's on either Amazon or Netflix, and yeah, that, that movie's pretty good. It's a good movie. I'm glad I finally watched that, because that uh, was a good one. Alright, of course. I kill the horse. Nope. Horse, you're spared this time. I think there was, uh, like in the 2000s, somebody was um, going to make a game for that. that Emma Kaya, yeah, I, s I see that. I see that there is a Ken Williams mote now. Well done. I told you it wouldn't get rejected, like, why would they ever reject Ken Williams? Alright, I don't know where Lady Ninja went. Alright, we're going with run past everything now, because... Where am I? What? Oh, there's just a bottomless pit there. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I don't think the project made it very far. Or I'm remembering wrong. One of those two things. Yeah, you gotta put uh, put some transparency to the right of his face. But yeah, for now we have a, an official Ken Williams moat. All Ken Williams fans around the world now have a channel to subscribe to. You've earned my subscription for another month, Paka. Well, you can you can see how many PS2 Hot for TV things I've done because, oh, you can use the number searching function, but I believe two of them have been done so far. If you do game PS2 number one and number two. Tell you. On my on my to-do list is to fix the <sighs> fix the thing where it responds with like battle tanks and just nonsense sometimes. For people who don't know how to use bot commands. Which is more and more people as of late. Well, I need to make it so that if uh, something isn't put in, it defaults to Grandstream instead of Battle Tanks, because Grandstream Saga is a way better meme than Battle Tanks can ever hope to be. Interested in Okage? Oh god. Okage is not a good speed game. <laughs> okay, so this is the other side of that fence then. Okay, there's a guy patrolling. There. Um, but yeah, the Okage speedrun, um, pretty much you avoid all battles 
and only fight the bosses. And most of the boss fights come down to RNG. There's like three of them that um, if RNG doesn't work out for you, then uh, then your run is dead, essentially. Um, my run, my run slash world record, I guess, had uh, about 40 minutes of mistakes, let's say. But that 40 minutes, <laughs> you can easily lose that on just RNG not lining up, because I actually had good RNG. <laughs> In, uh, in the world record. I got really lucky with uh, most of the boss fights. I think I only had to um, load a save once in that whole thing. Okay. Yep, kill pots and hope for good RNG. That's, uh, that seems about right. Okay, so I gotta jump over that probably. Oh. Up over this. Oh, up. Oh. Up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I would appreciate your Okage time a lot more if it were single segment. Oh, God. That fucking guy. SDA forums. Just. What the? All right. Remove the SDA forums. Holy shit. I can't take your run seriously unless it's single segment. Oh, Captain, I've been meaning to ask you, have you played, um, played or heard of the Knights of the Realm games? So I was actually thinking about it today. Like, I was thinking, I remember my friend in like elementary school being really into those games. And that one seems like a captain game. I think it's like Lord Knights or Lords of the Realm 2 or something. I think it was a Sierra uh, strategy ish thing. Oh shit. Hide over here. Well, if I replied that way, then I would be the, the I would be the asshole in the <laughs> in the conversation then. Which is why I generally don't don't go after that. You put down the to do. All right. Well, as long as you're aware that they exist now, because it seems like something you'd be into. Because if I remember correctly, it's like hybrid um, uh, city building, I guess, uh, and like hybrid combat, maybe. Like castle, castle defense, I think. Which is kind of like Heroes of Might and Magic. Except it's a Sierra game, so it's got to be good. Otherwise, Ken would not fund it. Wait, SRCOM wouldn't wouldn't allow them to manage their marathon, their in-person marathon. Nice. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of weird like vendettas and politics in uh, speedrun.com stuff sometimes. It's weird, but speedrun community loves drama, so. Might as well keep it in, in one spot. Have a, I've been here before, unless she's just sleeping. Uh, hmm. XCOM. Give me flashbacks, Captain. 
Uh, oh, this level sucks. You. <laughs> All right, I probably need to be heading down. Oh. Hold on. Lords of the Realm. <laughs> yep. Is that? Oh, it's a dead body. Oh, camera, come on. Yeah, I, from what I, from what I remember, I think Lords of the Realm Two was the one that was held in higher regard. I'm still lost. I still have kind of no idea where I am. I'm just hoping there isn't a any more pits around here. Oh, oh. Was Captain ever the uh, the sole survivor in any of your apocalypse missions? This look this is clearly a trap, but oh, all right. I think I died in apocalypse fairly early on. I think I had a hover bike named after me, so that that works. I had to scratch my face and almost got ninjaed. Oh man, this auto host bug continues. We're on day four of sweet auto host bug. Yeah, the, the draw distance is really bad, but the frame rate at least keeps up. We've had games in PS Explosion where the, the draw distance was kind of worse than this, and the frame rate was still horrible. Like, uh. Um. Kingsfield. Kingsfield 1 and 2. Like, the, the draw distance was pretty much this. At about a third the frame rates. <laughs> Jops, do you have this bug when you stream? Of it just, uh, of Saren auto-hosting you every literal five minutes? Because uh, Daxter tweeted Twitch support, and the one of the staff dudes liked liked the the tweet. But I'm still getting zombie hosts, and apparently Saren's um, Twitch page doesn't exist anymore. So <laughs> what the fuck's up with that? Like if you go to twitch.tv slash zero Saren, it's just like, hey, this page this page isn't a thing anymore. If you haven't streamed in the last uh, like five days or so, then you probably haven't seen it. But I'm I'm fairly sure like uh, um, he set uh, the Sweet Peas team to auto host, and then um, and then I guess his uh, maybe he deleted his account or something, or there's a database error. So the ghost of Saren's account is haunting Team uh, 
Team Sweet Peas now, I think. <laughs> oh, so he actually did delete his account? Okay. Isn't he the law, though? He can't be bad if he's the law. Alright, this is the way back. Are these breakable? No. But yeah, it's it's a really annoying bug. <laughs> and Chatty can't turn off... Uh, ho well, I guess I could turn off host notifications. Um, but it would turn off, like, all notifications. Oh, sick. Alright. Here's the boss, and we have a healing thing. Bad at that game. Oh, please. What is that? <laughs> well, we can't see it, because draw distance. It's almost finished. The most powerful warship in history. Finally, my dream becomes real. A world ruled by ninja. Exactly. We'll no longer be forced to hide in the night like thieves. We will decide how we live. And how we die. Lady Kagami! Stop shouting! I'm talking to Seiru. I'm sorry, Lady Kagami. What do you want? There is an intruder in the cave. Probably an Azuma ninja. Great. That's all we need. Listen up. We're moving the schedule forward. Prepare to launch the ship immediately. Our first target? Goda Castle. Yes, my lady. All right. Seiru, do you know why we're going to destroy Goda Castle? Our sole purpose in life has been to serve in the endless war between Toda and Goda. But now, Toda is gone. Goda is the only thing standing between us and freedom. If we are ever to cast off the chains that have shackled our spirits for generations, then Goda must be destroyed, no matter what the cost. Now come on, it's time to board the Fire Demon. We stand at the dawn of a new era. All right, no boss. I'll warn the castle. You stay with the ship. Agreed. Oh, all right. A level without a boss, for once. Still thugging, though. That's unusual so far. Like, every single level has had a boss. But, and it was the kind of the opposite way around the, the first game. After running day and night, Rikimaru reaches Goda Castle before the Fire Demon. Lord Goda calls an emergency meeting of the nobles of the House of Goda. All right. I'm pretty sure Goda Castle was like inland, I think, when we went there before. I'm not sure how a boat will, uh, We'll let them attack an inland castle. We need to find a way to stop the Burning Dawn and their giant warship. 
Our troops cannot fight it from land. Maybe we should send our fleet. Our boats are too small. They'll be blown to bits long Enough. before they get near the fire you demon. You talk as if we have already lost before the battle has even begun. Have you forgotten that you are warriors? They're here. All right, good plan, fam. That's a big ass cannon. Okay, I guess it is on the sea. Never mind. A boat would be effective. Assault on the enemy vessel myself. Prepare my ship. Lord Goda, I'm going to board the enemy ship. I'll come back with Kagami's head. Take care of yourself, Rikimaru. You're too valuable to lose. I'll see host, you when it's all over. Yes, my lord. All right. Don't attack blue. Old enemy, wait to see on the second large ship, destroy it, and avenge death. Okay. Alright. What even is this? Oh. Useless. Okay. Alright, step one, run past everybody. Blue ninjas and not blue ninjas. Okay. If we're going after a ship, I can probably just skip all the all the nonsense and We already did shark science last time and saw that the sharks are just bitches in this game. They don't even attack you. Look at this ship. It's so big, it takes forever to draw in. Alright. Pick her off. Alright, that's probably not the ship I'm after. I had to guess. But. Let's go up there anyways. Yep. I can't Batman overdo it though. Well, alright, maybe it's over here. Be over here. Later. All right. Where's other boat? Uh, I don't have control of the Sweet Peas team. I think uh, that's Chomps' team. But maybe that would do it? And that would... Well, here's the thing, though, is I don't know if I'm on his auto-host list, or if it's... Um, or if he did host everybody on team. Because that would, that would change things. Okay, Green Ninja. Oh, all right, Shark. We found Shark. And Nurture. Uh, 
I don't see it in my stream tip alerter. Oh, if you did donate, then thank you. Uh, it hasn't shown up in stream tip, though. At least the, the thing that I use. Well, yeah, Twitch, uh, Twitch does differentiate between normal hosts and auto hosts, but the thing that we're trying to figure out is, did he select host, um, hosts from a list of users or hosts from a team? And, uh, that does not show up in any sort of notification difference. Oh my god. I hate archers. Maybe this is the right way. Oh my god. Okay, there it is. We found it. Alright, it's just... Oh, this isn't any year. Yeah, the the last auto host was uh, at 10:51. Okay, it's not this boat either, apparently. Oh, it's this guy. Okay. Yeah, I think you have to be on a team to auto host. Intoxicating, isn't it? What? The copper smell of blood. The screams of dying men. That final, brilliant flash as you die. Only servants of darkness can appreciate these. I shall deliver you from your darkness into that pure light. Not if I enlighten you first. All right, if the if the team hosts removing him from the team thing worked, uh, or if it didn't, the host will be showing up right about now. And it looks like it uh, worked, because I don't see an auto host. Oh, oh. oh shit! I confused the AI by clipping on top of the. Wait, I thought I picked up a, uh, a healing thing. Apparently not. Yeah! Shit. Yeah, it looks like that fixed it. Uh, I felt it. Ten fifty one. His life force ebbing away. <sighs> <laughs> oh man! All right, that did it. Thank you, Chops. You have fixed what even Twitch engineers couldn't. Apparently, I'll have to have Daxter follow up that tweet that he made to Zangle because apparently that's what the issue was. <laughs> If somebody who was on a team and does a team host, if their account gets deleted or, or whatever, then the spooky ghost of their account will haunt the team that they're on <laughs> with auto hosts. <laughs> Amazing. I, I guess that is a, a hell of an edge case. So sure, that's, that is quite the edge case. But you think that would have been fixable by just Twitch engineers. Apparently not, though. Alright. So I guess I just need to head this way for a long time and not get eaten by sharks.
Yeah, spooky Ghostbusters. Good. I, I suspected that's what the issue was, that it was uh, being haunted by a team host, but that, uh, that confirms it. Excellent. Probably a lot faster if I just jump from boat to boat. But then ninjas can shoot me. Okay, I think it was this way. Captain Clever. I read about her in my own mythology. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Captain. I've heard about you in Spooky Ghost Auto Hostology. Welcome back. Thank you for the resub. There they are. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Boss is at the there bow of the are. ship, not the poop deck. I think if you surface by holding down X instead of tapping, you you don't make the the ninja jump out of the water. I think, though, who knows? This game's this game's controls are so weird. What the fuck? Yeah, and then he's giving me the. The Wombo. Amazing. Alright. If I get one of these between me and the boss, and I'm safe. Oh. Here's how we're going to cheese out the boss. Bosses can't deal with inclines like this very well. So we're going to make him get on top of this a whole bunch. Turn around, turn around! Did he just, is he stuck up there? Uh. Uh. Okay. Hey. Hello. He's probably going to throw a bomb at me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now suddenly he can move. Okay. Huh. <laughs> yeah, the AI learned from what I was doing. You lose. Because the more enemies you get revenge on, the angrier and nastier you'll become until you become as vicious and selfish as me. <laughs> I no longer seek vengeance. I merely serve a worthy master. I fight because I must.
Sure. Now second half of the level. Yep, knew it. Okay. All right, we'll pause here. I'll be back in a minute, and we'll totally beat the game, right? No, please. Vote 3 and 4 are completely legit. They weren't manually placed into the poll by me on purpose. Absolutely not. It Hypothetically, if there were an issue with the poll generation previously, the hypothetical issue with the poll generation that has since been corrected if it needed a correction. But it didn't, so... So we good. <laughs> All right. It looks like we're on one big ass boat now. Apparently. Wait. Oh god. All right. Stop doing your ninja thing. Alright, let's just... Alright. <laughs> God damn it, Blix. <laughs> Alright, I probably need to climb up to the, the poop deck of the castle now. Holy shit. I'm on a boat. How big is this boat? Am I in space? Well, cool. Let's, uh... Uh, all right. Cool. Great. Huh. Well, all right. So this is just like the the last level of the first game. <laughs> Great. Um, you may remember, if you saw that one, how many tries it took to do that fucking level. Hey, Shizu. Alright, let's see if we can do this slightly faster by actually... Oh, Alright, never mind. Let's just swim again. Yeah, time to fight that boss again. <laughs> At least I beat the, the mid-boss faster than I did uh, in the first game. In the first game, we were fighting a double sword guy for like six hours. Yeah, items, you don't get your items back if you, uh, if you die, because that's how they designed the game. It's pretty good. And now I'm lost. Where am I? It's 
level is oddly shaped. But yeah, if you if you use an item and you die, you you uh, don't get it back. If you equip an item on yourself and then die, those uh, those items are still gone. They continue to be gone, uh, even if you don't use them. That's just part of the risk reward in Tenchu of like, hey, you can be quote unquote super safe in a level by bringing like six healing things with you, but if you like fall into a surprise bottomless pit or something, who would ever do that? That's That sounds crazy, but hypothetically, if you were to fall into a seemingly random bottomless pit, like in a cave or on a boat for some fucking reason, um, you do not get those back. They're just gone forever. They're at the bottom of the bottomless pit. Because Tenchu. <laughs> Reload the save? Yeah, that's true. Who would do that, though? That's crazy talk. Alright, we made it to boot. Sword out. Oh, don't shoot me! Uh, this way. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, Tenchu, Tenchu 1, definitely not marathon safe. Unless you use button codes or something. Um, 2 so far, I would say, is way easier than 1. Like, didn't I get up to... Like, 70 deaths in Tenshi 1. And a lot of those, I want to say, were on, like, one level. Oh, for fuck's sake. Whoop. Well, Alright. Later. Alright, hold on. <laughs> Alright, later, boss. Hold on. He's doing ninja things over here. Oh my god. Get up, Ukimaru. Even holding circle, just, just by holding back for just a little bit, even if you're holding circle, it doesn't count as defending. And now all that, the healing item and the shurikens, gone. Or the, the smoke bombs that I had. They're gone. They're gone forever. Oh boy. All right, let's uh, let's cheese this boss. <laughs> yep, yeah, good old Mount Death is is getting up there. I'm actually I made a revision to the the numbers there to make them slightly more transparent so you could actually see uh, behind those now. Um, but I'm still uh, there's still some weirdness I'm working out with uh, with those. So that version's not ready for production yet. <laughs> Alright. 
Don't mind me. Oh shit. Well. Alright. This is going well so far. He's on fire in the water. Alright, blue ninjas are friendly. I, I have to use this already. Step one, we're going to climb up the rope thing. And then throw shurikens at the boss and hope that they actually hit. They're like secret uh, heal things in this. No, nope, that would be silly. Can I just skip the boss and go up here? Of course there's no secret healing things up here. That would be crazy. Man, first game had just items all over the place. This one, nothing. <laughs> it's like one item per stage. Step one, climb the mast, somehow. Oh, sick. Step one, get the boss to blow himself up on torches. All right, come at me. And then he gets burned by the torch. It didn't damage him, though. Bullshit. He just got blown up by a torch, but didn't damage him. Rip. Alright. Every advantage helps. Especially when I am the worst swordsman in history. Holy shit.
Come out. Yeah. All right. Continue to get blown up. Okay. 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 Well, Dream's dead. The torch cheese. No! The torch could kill me at this point. worked. My master plan. <sighs> Almost. <clears throat> the boss is learning. All right, this time, we got this. This time. PlayStation, it's thinking. All right, this time. Probably faster just go on the surface to just swim like this. Or not. Oh god. Oh, alright. Don't mind me. Yeah, I made the, the shmup genre for as kind of a catch-all. Even if it's not strictly a shmup, I still put like rail shooters and uh, um, certain flight games on there. Like a Rebel Assault type game, I just put into the shmup category, even though it's clearly not a shmup. Ha! <laughs> 
Oh, what a good smoke bomb. Turn around, of course. One time I actually, oh good, now I'm poisoned. Oh god damn it. I don't think I can survive the, survive this level while I'm poisoned. I don't think it just wears off. Uh, the poison wear off. Okay, so it just it just ticks for a while, and then and then it takes out like half of your health all at once, and then you're free of poison. You have to barf out the rest of the poison, but also half your health bar. So cool. All right, so another another recon pass through the level. All right. So let's try not to. Oh, sick! All right. In there. Okay. All right. Let's see what's up here. Okay. So that's this is probably the back of the ship. I need to not be here. All right, I probably have to go this way. Discovered already. Because he's got to do the cool move after he kills the guy. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. God damn it. How the fuck are you supposed to know that... I, I should just assume on the other side of every single fence in this game is a bottomless pit. Because apparently it is. Holy shit. Uh. Amazing. Alright, I guess I need, like, two of those, too. God damn it. Ah, uh, amazing! We went through all that to beat the boss, just barely beat him, and then there's bottomless pits everywhere. <sighs> it's the last level, though. Once we're past this, then. I'll be done with Tenchu for the rest of my life.
I can't remember if there were Tenchu on PS2. I think the the sun will have exploded by the time we get to PS2 hot for TV, so we probably won't have to worry about it. Oh god. All right. Oh. All right, this is fine. Okay with this. Okay. All right. Less bullshit this time, boss. God, God damn it. God damn it! <laughs> to, uh, for fuck's sake. There goes half of my health immediately. No, it was it was like this in the first game too. Oh god. Take me the bit zapper. Yeah, the first game actually had a much longer section for the, the mid boss. Um And then the part after the boss in the first game was even more bullshit than this one currently is. And then the final final boss was uh uh was complete horseshit in the first game. You So so far this is still way easier than uh um the first one. PS explosion is five hundred and ninety seven, I think. Hold on, I can tell you in a second. Once this loads. It is 597 so far. That number could uh, get larger later, but for now, that's what it is. No, that's the... Oh, God, I thought I had the... Uh, I thought I had the... My grappling hook equipped. Cool. Actually, I wonder if that... Uh, if this always has a heal. It does, sick. 
Okay. All right, I just need to not fall off into bottomless pits, and we'll be okay. Probably. Hey, Gator. All right, I think I want to just continue running past everything, because... Fuck this level. Oh, this is the front of the ship. All right. Well, this. Oh God. Oh God. What do sequels have to do with anything? Yeah, there is only one. There can only be one Phantom Menace. Only one greatest game of all time. Next to the Grand Stream Saga. Game Shark? No. I'll make it work. I'll I'll give this much more time before consulting the doctor. Because we're still, uh... We're still nowhere near the amount of time I spent on, uh, the first one. Yeah, of course sequels are on the full game list. <laughs> Like, if you want to know how many are eligible to appear in any one poll, um, with the filtering that I have in place, it's about uh, 240 are eligible for the current poll. And I know that number because I actually checked it today when I was fixing the totally not broken poll generation thing. So for the the next poll that gets generated, there are 244 possible things that can show up, plus the subscriber picks. So, slightly more with that factored in. Okay, this is back where I started. Um, and this way is the front of the ship, I think. Cyrus. Yeah, we're at about uh, 20, 20 ish percent, I think. Yeah, this is this is certainly a long term project. Though. I have no illusions about uh, being done with this anytime soon. Yeah, things will, will go faster now that I'm doing mostly this in recent times. On account of being rejected for AGDQ. And hopes not super great for Limit Break. stream. No? Uh -oh. Oh. Yeah, spear guy. Spear guy is still an issue. So, okay. I'm trusting no walls anymore in this game.
Wait, this is where I came from. Okay. Okay, I think I have to get up there. No. If I were a boss, I would be at the top of a big-ass castle. Unless I need to get into the castle somehow. No, it's distance from nearest, like, enemy. Hopefully the boss is up here. Hopefully I don't fall. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Master Ninja, Ricky Maru. This is on normal difficulty. Almost all PS Explosion stuff is on the normal difficulty. Unless it's too difficult, and then I turn it down. Very rarely will it be on the harder, harder difficulty. Okay, this is this is probably not where I need to be, and uh, I have since lost all bearing from where I came from. And fantastic. Well. level. Oh god. Okay. Alright, that's that's the wall. That This is the pit that I died in before. Uh. Okay, this I recognize. Uh, that's maybe where the boss is? So this appears to be just a bunch of ships tied together, rather than just one big-ass ship. Yeah, IL leaderboards will always look real weird. Okay, here's the entrance. So speaking of bad leaderboards, the Judge Dredd leaderboard also... <laughs> Also a shining example of how to leaderboard. If we're firing shots at, at leaderboards. The Judge Dread in Dread vs. Death leaderboard. Oh god damn it, I'm back at the start again. Uh Yeah, if the, if the Dread leaderboard doesn't have that uh, incredible background picture, then why bother having a leaderboard? Sure, this is not where I'm supposed to be. Okay, that is probably gonna kill me if I go down there. I know, right? I bet you can probably just put that uh, that background back up, and nobody will know. I'm sure the the new management for SRCOM probably doesn't care anymore. Oh god. Mm. 
There's been more combat in this one level than like, the rest of the game combined. God damn it! Ripped like half my health. Yep. Pretty much exactly half my health. Cool. Welp. Welp. Gonna be killed by just fucking rando enemy. Amazing. After getting lost for... Oh god. Oh yo, you beat the task? Nice. Well done, Spirit X. Yeah, I think I saw the uh the thumbnail of like uh you were plus two minutes at uh at like the one third point, which I assume that was missing the um Missing the the Lars Crypt jump and or bad uh, uh, Seraphite. Four thirty seven. Nice. You are nearly an hour faster than me. <laughs> when is sub one sub one hour purry? That's the real accomplishment. Yeah, smoke bombs just stunlock you. Alright, that's your next goal, is a literal hour faster than my PB Spear X. You can do it. Did you get in the water? What? <laughs> Ten minute PB. Sure. Well, if uh, if Alundra makes it into like limit break or something, then I'll at least do a run or two of it again to refamiliarize myself, and might as well do the new stuff whenever I do those. All right, okay, this way. Wait, there's a boat over here, though. Found it. Yeah, smoke bombs are bullshit. Uh, I have access to them too, but it uh, they don't last nearly as long against enemies because it's, of course not. Why would they? That would be silly. Like if I throw the smoke bomb at the boss here it will stunlock him enough for me to hit him once, and then chances are my next swing of the sword will completely miss the boss, and then he'll get unstunlocked, stab me in the back, uh, probably poison me, and then, um, and then we'll be back at square one. <laughs> it, it, uh-huh. Yep. I, um... PlayStation Stradamus. Alright, well. Yeah, stop. If you're just trying to break the bot, then don't do that. You can whisper the bot if you want to try and break it. Oh. 
this is going great. <laughs> well, at least it didn't poison me. Not yet, at least. Defeated by the camera boss. <sighs> Amazing. Alright, out of curiosity. Uh... Tenchu was... Four... Four and a half hours, 46 deaths. And the majority of those deaths were in the final chapter. So, we're roughly halfway there. On, uh... On those. Alright, I'll bring one of these permission, I guess. Hello, welcome. Nope, as far as I know, you can't, uh, like, downstab enemies when they're down. Because <laughs> that would be too easy. Fortunately, uh, uh, enemies can't do it to me either, so I guess it, it works out. Yep, good old Blasto. The pole may or may not have been broken when that was generated, so I manually put in a meme pick. I also put in the correct pick of Alundra 2, because I want to play Alundra 2 sooner rather than later, so I can show people why Alundra 2 is not garbage, and why they're unfairly comparing Alundra 2 to Alundra 1. And that it stands on its own merit, damn it. No, Blasto didn't break the pole. Um, me being bad at PHP and SQL broke the pole. I had a SQL statement that uh, didn't quite SQL correctly, and um, Instead of throwing an error, it just didn't execute the statement, but it executed half of the statements correctly. Um, so that's why half of the poll worked, and half of it didn't. But I fixed that today. Because I have, like, as I keep adding more and more features to the, the channel and the polls, stuff more and more things tend to break, so. That's kind of the downside of having more and more cool channel features, is that eventually there's just so much shit, it just all... Once one thing breaks, everything else breaks. But I fixed it. We're back in there now. Archer with, with bombs is practically cheating. But yeah, I still have more revisions to make for uh, for the poll and voting. I just my to-do list for stream stuff is a mile long, and 
I am not getting enough sleep as it is, so it is very slow going. <laughs> Boss has priority on me on attacks. Oh, I do use Node.js for the bots, but for the my database interaction code. Oh god. For my database code, it uh, it works a lot better with PHP. For what I do. Priority. Uh. Yeah, I, I cannot push the boss over rails or anything. I already tried that. Doesn't work with any of the bosses on ledges. Fucking Tenchu. Uh. Well, I'm actually looking into React, React.js for stuff. But I'm not quite ready to start moving stuff over to, to things like that. Ideally, I want to move away from Unity for um, a lot of my stream stuff, just because it's, uh, I want to free up CPU cycles for more dank memes. But it's probably going to be slow going for stuff like that. I actually do have Goro.js. That's... Uh, um, that is the name of the file that controls Puribot Goro <laughs> on my server. So I'm already way ahead of you on that one. I have prime.js and goro.js. <laughs> stream unity stuff is all uh, .cs files or that c sharp right, sort out This time, things will be different. I'll beat the boss. I'll beat the other boss. And GG. No, get out of there. All right. 
Let's get a torch between me and the boss. Oh god. Holding circle just doesn't matter, apparently. Can I, uh, can I go down here, actually? Nope, that would be too easy. Oh god, alright. Nope. When bosses back you up against the wall, there's not much I can do about it. Because they just clip into you. Instead of being able to attack. And then they have animation priority. Looks like I can attack him when he's getting up. No, turn around. Don't. All right, don't shirk him, bro. Oh god. Okay. All right. Hopefully that uh, the heal thing in the the crate is still there. I'm assuming it's either Autodesk or Adobe. Probably Autodesk, though. And I'm guessing AutoCAD. Or uh, Autodesk Inventor. More deaths and saves, so you haven't been watching PS Explosion much then. Because there are plenty of games that have literally infinitely more deaths and saves. Like, actually infinitely more. Alright. Okay. Is this Okay, this is the deck. I don't want to be there. Form it. Shoot. Okay. Not up there. That's a bottomless pit. Okay, so I think I need to go across that little bridge. Who's there? What happened? Oh, man. Oh, God, I'm being vaped. All right, this, this did not go to plan. each other. Or they just kill me. Alright. I did figure out Tomba. We'll be doing that one once we're done with this. not look like the right place to be. Okay, 
healing items? Nope, of course not. Alright, not a dead end. This is right back where I started. Great. This is actually where I started. Amazing. Okay. Mind me. I'll be over here. Well, or not. Okay, I think that's a dead end. Where even is this? Oh god. there. Alright. Get up here. We'll be fine. We can't get up here. Alright. Whew. Okay. Oh my god. There's been a map this whole time. Hey guys, this game has a map feature built in. Did you know that? Alright. I don't recall it being listed in the controls thing in the main menu. I'll have to double check that later, but... Okay, so I'm pretty sure we, we climbed up this before, and there is nothing up there. Okay, Master Ninja, Rikimaru. So if I were a boss, this seems like a good place to, to do boss things. Yeah, this is on console. What'd you miss? I, uh... I had never pressed the select button in this before. And it, as it turns out, the select button is pretty useful. Pasta and salsa. Oh, jeez. Um. I guess it depends on how strong your stomach is. It's like, my go-to pasta sauce is, uh... Uh... Ragu, garlic, and onion. And then, I also mix in tomato sauce. Um pound of hamburger uh and other assorted spices yeah well i'm capturing it through a uh, specialized up up converter uh, so it's a 240p game but it's being upscaled and deinterlaced to uh, the 1080p through a fairly expensive little hardware box that uh that as of late has been like locking up and crashing on me, which is an amazing thing for a 
fairly expensive specialized piece of hardware to do. over here. A good capture card? Well, it depends what you're capturing. Uh, if it's uh, um, like prior to uh, like 360 and PS3, so starting with like PS2, GameCube, Wii also. Um, oh, sick. Alright, here's the boss. Um, a Dazzle DVC 100 or a GV USB are both very cheap and they will be just fine. Or Yummy. HD. Like, the setup that I'm capturing with here is roughly $500. And you can get, let's say, like 95% of the way to this quality with a $25 Dazzle. <laughs> so you don't need to spend a shitload of money to make uh, console stuff look good. But it certainly makes things easier if you do. Put an end to my beautiful dream. Oh shit. You killed the beauty of your dream with the ugliness of your methods. Alright. Guess how many seconds it'll take for me to die to this boss. I am guessing 30 seconds. That seems optimistic though. <laughs> Animation priority, boys. Okay. Okay. I'm one hit away from dying, but... Alright, three hit combo. Do some work. Yeah. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Bullshit. Alright. Great. Alright, at least I know where to go on the now ship now. The castle will fall so my dream can live. Uh, goes through all that, gets out, gets out the sword, and then just blows me up. Amazing. Okay. All right. This is a poison antidote, by the way, for what's what is the green thing? Poison antidote. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's bring one of these then. So now I know where to go. I know that one. There's a a map in this game. 
And then two, it's the southeast part of the big ship is where we're going. And I can pretty much just run past everything. Wait, did I say green? I meant purple. Like this, that thing is clearly purple. I just misspoke. As I tend to do. But yeah, I have, uh, I do have trouble with certain shades of like blue, blue and green. Like, I actually had that trouble in the uh, um, motorcycle training thing. Like, the the cones, to my vision, blended in with the concrete. So the, the trainer guy is like, hey, do the, swal the slalom between these cones. And now I go, hey, what cones? <laughs> and say, those cones over there, stupid idiot. Now go do it. And, all right. And I proceed to knock over like half the cones. There they are. There they are. got damaged by their own thing. There they are. Okay. Why do I run past everything? Because I can? Because you don't have to kill anything in this game. You don't want to. Besides bosses, I guess. Or that one mission. And mostly because I don't like this game very much. And I'd rather be done with it. Rather than screw around killing enemies. See how how hard is that game? How hard is that? Ugh. Jesus. All right, what's gonna go wrong you. with this playthrough, with this part of the level now? All right, so we're gonna have two heals and a poison antidote that I, I guess I don't even need anymore. All right, so we're heading that way. Let's get on top of this. All right, so I gotta get over to the left side of the boat. Go that way. Need to not die. Oh, alright. 
Don't mind me, just passing through. Oh. Oh god! Oh no! Okay, we're fine, everything's fine. Is way easier when you know where to go. Okay. I just gotta hope the boss doesn't start throwing bombs all the time. Scene again. All right. No throwing bombs at me. <sighs> All right, we're going to start off by dodging. God damn it! Alright. Yeah, she's trying to bait me. Alright, good. Final boss, vulnerable to torches, just like all the other bosses. Stop beating me! Alright, back to the safety of that torch. Save me, torch. my dream by killing me but my dream lives you cannot stop it from coming true because we will pay any price for freedom freedom but you only a fool follows the rules without questioning them and fools can never stop us Ugh! I'll happily suffer the title of fool if it means I can save even one life from your blood-drenched dream. Farewell, Kagami. 
Rikimaru, everything taken care of? Yes, sir. But where is Ayame? She wasn't on the boat. Archers, prepare flaming arrows! Ayame, you made it. I'm going to become strong so no one can ever take away anything I care for. I understand. What will you do now? I wish only to serve Lord Goda. Good. I'm going with you to Goda Castle. I'm glad. I have someone there worth dying for, and worth living for. Ninja Bird. Seagulls, still a nuisance in ancient Japan. Tenshu II credits. Okay. the bird the playable third character according to the back of the box there's three playable characters but it only let me select Rikimaru and what's her face by the way we're not doing what's her face's story because I've had about enough with this one <laughs> Final level, way easier than the first game's final level. Tenchi 1's final level was just bullshit top to bottom. And the second one, you're just swimming for the first half, uh, hope to cheese out the boss, um, run past all the enemies in the second half, and then the boss was not that hard. The boss in the first game was like, hey, how about I use lightning? That you can't, uh, uh, can't, uh, can't block or anything. Oh, you complete both? Well, I'm not doing that. Fizz X Clap. That's a that's a pretty good name for your audio studio. Think of the bit sack. Ricky Maru. All right, Debbie May West. I know that name. All eating. Michael Koff. Yeah, they got. Uh, I actually recognize a lot of these voice actor names. So a reminder again that Tenchu 1, the voice actors for English Tenchu 1 were all native Japanese speakers. Um, and had them speaking English instead of Japanese, complete with pretty good accents. With some thick Japanese accented English. <laughs> and the 
the charm of that is lost by having professional English speakers as your voice actors in the second one. Nowhere near as charming. Actually pronouncing words correctly. All right. So we're not going to do the whole uh, what's-her-face story, but I want to load up the first level as her and see if there's... Uh, See if there's any major difference in how she plays. Um, I'm guessing not. There's also the mission editor. So we'll, um, actually, maybe I could just play as her in a mission editor thing. So apparently this game has a, um, a way to share, uh, share levels over the internet. Apparently. That's what the back of the box says. All right. Run mission. Okay, custom missions, and then there's some on the memory card, I guess. And according to the back of the box, there's, like, uh, internet missions. So look at this. There's just a shitload of, uh, of extra stuff. All right, so I don't want the stealth missions, because fuck that. Um, seek out, protect, steal. Okay, let's, let's try the steal one. Steal the enemy's secret message and bring it to our lord. Okay, Colonel. All right, so there's what's her face and Ricky Maru. So let's let's just try out what's her face. So this is neat. So let's um let's just see what this is like and then open up the editor, and uh, see what that looks like. What, Colonel? You want me to do what? <laughs> Colonel, you're a spooky ghost. <laughs> so, so far, she plays pretty much like Ricky Mara, except she's got four hits on her combo. <laughs> and control is the same. Seems like her jump jumps slightly faster. Cool level, bro. <laughs> can I? Can I just? Okay, you can't fall off into the the darkness. Huh. Yeah, I have a feeling that the level editor for this is probably better than RPG Maker's. Because the level editor in RPG Maker is... not good. What? You loot? Oh, okay. Yeah, automatically better than than regular story mode. Yeah, this this does take place in space right now, so I guess this technically could be number four, number three. Well, this. All right, let's just let's just do this. <laughs> okay. I gotta step away for a minute, and then uh, we'll we'll check out the um, the level creator, and then we'll put a fork in this one. So we're relatively close to being done with this. All right, I'll be back in a minute.
Craggy for trees. Is that really the name of that? Huh. All right. <laughs> I, I guess I never noticed that that was the title for that. Also, this... Uh, I clearly have a memory card inserted. But, uh... Yes, that's okay, I suppose. Okay, let's, uh... Let's see what this editor looks like. Alright, title... Dojo Village, Castle Lake, Bamboo, Forest. Alright. Retrieve. Okay, let's seek out. All stealth not required, of course. Time limit. This is automatically a better level editor than RPG Maker. <laughs> so this is like Time Splitters style level creation. Switch, trap, column, wall with Shoji. All right. And it even has like shadows too that it generates. This is actually pretty good. Alright, let's put some... Can't put trapdoors there? Okay. Alright, toggle editor. Okay, so you can put characters there. Terrain editor. Alright, we already did this. Test out our sweet map. This is actually, this is pretty neat that they put this in. All right, and here's our our sick level. You can't ninja on top of that. Here I am, Master. Huh. It took you long enough. <laughs> Alright. This is... This is actually really well thought out. And, uh... Okay, so 2000. I'm trying to think of... This is... This probably did, been done before. Okay, so this is this is all the stuff that you have to work with, it looks like. And it's uh It probably differs by Okay, toggle editor. So that's that's all you have to work with, and I assume it uh The stuff in this varies on like which template you use, like the shipwreck one has different uh Different one of these. A million torches and an enemy? Alright. You wanna see that frame rate? Take a dump. Alright, that's that's all the torches that we can place, apparently. There's no indication of like maximum item limit. Uh, okay. Character. I assume that means starting point. Um. Oh, these are enemies. Okay. All right. Let's let's see the frame rate get real good. Okay. This this frame rate. Is probably going to be really, really good. Let's uh, let's do it. All right. 
let's see what we got here. If this is more than like eight FPS or more than five, let's let's set the bar low. Five FPS, I'll be really impressed. It doesn't even render all of them. <laughs> okay, there's a character limit, but the frame rate is actually not bad. But the game is cheating because it's not. Uh... Oh my god. Overlapping lights. The game can't even handle. Alright, come at me. Okay, here we go. Now the frame rate's getting good. Oh. oh, there we go. Okay. There they are. Alright. Come at me. Come follow me into this maze of torches. Alright. So, I, I am actually impressed with the amount of stuff this engine can handle. Like, sure, the draw distance is, is crap, but... This game can actually have a bunch of shit on screen and still still Here be playable. Am, master. Huh, it took you long enough. Alright, and then I'm still curious how the, the share via internet function works. I assume it just gives you a big-ass string of characters. That you have somebody else enter in, but I didn't see a screen about, like, enter password. I'm not sure how they expect you to share these via the internet. Uh, so save. Tour. Maybe they expect you to get one of those third-party memory card uploader things. Tour. We'll just do that. Alright, it's gonna give me some sort of option. Yeah, they expect you to pay a thousand dollars for a net your rose for this. Yeah, there, there's no option for like enter code for a custom mission, so. So I don't know where they got the the share share levels by internet thing. Hold on. So according to the back of the box, um, right here, trading via memory card or over the internet. Maybe that's just a feature that they wrote up for the marketing copy but didn't put in the game. Um. Or what? Because I sure as hell don't see uh, anything to do that, but whatever. Alright, well, this has certainly been Tenchu. Six and a half hours of it. About as long as I, I expected. There we are. Unless it's in options for some reason. So let's see it. Yeah, nothing in here about that. Alright, well. <laughs> that Ayami face, though. <laughs> Alright. straight thugging for most of these. I was a ninja for the training course, though, even though I skipped most of the training course. Maybe that's why I got ninja rank. Alright, let's, uh... Let's check out our save icon. Um, so I'm assuming the save icon is probably going to be... Uh... I'm guessing Rikimaru face. 
I suppose. Probably Ricky Maro face. Either that or a ninja star. And... Oh. Okay. Neither of those things. It is a kanji. And this is also a kanji. Or it's like an earthbound enemy. There's my, my sweet level and there's my system data. Okay. Sure. All right. Six hours, 33 minutes. Let's take a look at our inputs. And I got to turn on analog for that. Okay, so six hours, six and a half hours for this. Um, I am guessing that four hours of this was inputs. And the one that would have the most button presses is probably the X button with, let's say, 2,500 presses. Probably. I think the square button's probably a thousand. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh four twenty total time. Twenty nineteen thousand, almost twenty thousand inputs. Uh eight thousand, eight point three thousand X button presses, sixty nine hundred square button presses. Uh Interesting that the time spent holding down every button but uh, X um, is roughly the same. I find that interesting. <laughs> uh, let's see. Bulk of the time spent uh, holding up on the left stick, roughly the same left and right, and then about a, a quarter of the time going back. Uh, let's see. Um, R1 was the stealth button, L1 was the look around button, um, L2 and R2 is just swap between items, so hardly ever used, uh, and then I, I barely use the D-pad for this, besides menus and, um, lining up some stuff with, like, the, uh, uh, the grappling hook. But yeah, that's, uh, that seems about right for all that. Okay. Everything's in order. All right, Tenchu. It's been real. Okay. <sighs> All right. Let's get the Danka base open here. So this is game number 150. Completed game, yep. We did not cheat. And we did complete it, so nothing needed here. Alright, dank memes. Uh, cicadas. Uh, a ninja must fill in the blank. Uh, Trapdoors. Sin board, fountains of blood, crickets, oh. daytime ninjas, uh, warping on top of ankle height ledges. Even bosses have trouble with the controls. <laughs> the voice acting. Thug. Uh, that fucking mountain level. Bikini armor. Dog. Bottomless pit on a boat.
boat with a castle on it. Uh, Biz X Clap. Okay. Why? What's wrong with the uh, Wild Arms music? I think Wild Arms is a bad game, but the music is good. Yeah, go for it, Shizu. Alright. Things I liked. Uh, graphics looked good. Frame rate kept up, even with a ton of things on screen. Uh, level editor is a cool addition. Forgot who Suzak was. Uh, I don't even remember that character. Onikage? Alright. <laughs> sure. I don't even remember who that was, though. Uh, let's see, other things I liked. Um, some boss fights were cool. Is this song just bells tolling? Oh. Uh, let's see. Oh, that guy, the guy with the mask. Huh. All right. Let's see. Lots of replay value, I'll say. All right. Things I did like. Draw distance. Um, bosses that can vape you to death. Um... Mechanic of losing items if you die. Uh, can mostly just run through levels if you want. Though that one's that one's less of a don't like and more of like a huh, that's weird that you can just do that. Um, let's see. The voice acting. Um, not a fan of the combat controls. Uh, I'm going to say final boss was too easy. Uh, yeah, that'd do it. Okay, Ayla Mao's... I guess if we count that horse, that horse looked real fucking weird. Um, but nah. Uh, drum bass? I don't think it had any. I don't think it had any. Um, oh, I, also, I almost forgot. Um, the grappling hook just didn't work most of the time forgot about the grappling hook and that struggle yesterday. Alright, difficulty 1 to 5. Um, I played it on normal. I was able to complete it fairly easily. Um, most of the, the deaths were from like boss fights rather than like, oh, I can't get through the level, um, which is kind of the opposite of what uh, the first game was. Um, so... I'm going to say this one was more average in difficulty than the first game. This one was certainly way easier than uh, than the first game. Uh, even though it took longer. Though I suppose I, I used button codes in the first game, but I can't remember where I started doing that. So by default, if I didn't have to cheat, then this is easier than the first game. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to say easier for Tenchu 2. And then rating 1 to 5. I believe I gave the first game a 4. Um, this one I like on a similar level to the first one, but slightly less. But I don't think that bumps it to a 3, especially with the inclusion of a third, third character story and like the level editor and all that. Um... So even though I like the game less mechanically, the the added value they gave to the game still bumps it up to about a 4. So I'll give this one a 4 as well. Um, 
There are a lot of things I didn't like about Tenchi 2, but uh, I think all things considered, I would give it. Uh, I would give it a four. So that's all I'll go with on it. Okay, let me make sure that that made it to my database. Tenchu 2. Okay, we in there with that. 